Hello library families, Miss Laurie here from the Innisfil Idea Lab and Library, and thanks for joining me for today's STEAM activity. STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Math. Today I'm going to try to make some rainbow icicles. For this experiment, you'll need a large plastic zippered bag or a washed out plastic bottle, a toothpick or a wooden skewer, yarn or kitchen twine, water and food coloring, and a cold day. First, poke three holes in your bag using the toothpick, one in each corner and one in the middle. Try to keep them small so that the string won't fall out and the water won't leak too quickly. Next, cut three pieces of yarn or twine, around three feet or so, and tie a knot at the end of each. Carefully thread the yarn through the holes you make in the bag, with the knots on the inside to keep the yarn from falling through. You can also make a handle out of yarn by poking holes near the top of the string. Now it's time to head outside and hang your bag to a railing or a low-hanging tree branch. You want to tie each string to an anchor on the ground, like a rock or piece of wood. Arrange the anchor so that the string is on a 45 degree angle. Next, add some food coloring to some water and pour that into the bag outside. Close the top to slow the rate of leaking and wet the strings to help guide the water using a spray bottle or dropper. Wait for the water to freeze on the strings, then add a bit more. Refill the bag when it's empty, using a different color and making sure you spray the yarn each time. Icicles form when dripping water starts to freeze. Scientists have discovered that the tips of the icicles are the coldest part, so the water moving down freezes onto the ends, forming long spikes. So when you add different colors, the color that you add last will freeze onto the tip of the ice. There are lots of variables in this experiment that you can adjust that will affect the final result. What do you think will make longer icicles? Warm, cold, or ice cold water? Do icicles form better in the shade or in the sun? Results will also vary depending on how cold it is outside. So this is an experiment you can repeat over and over again throughout the winter. How did your rainbow icicles turn out? We would love for you to share a photo or video of your rainbow icicles with us at the library. You can tag us on social media at Innisfil ID Lab or send me an email at ljeffery at Hope to see you all soon. Take care.